What is up everyone, it's your man Busy Brown, we are back with another reaction. Today we're here with Batwoman and the finale. So before you skip ahead, I do want to say thank you guys. You guys have been so good when um, it came to me adding a little vlog um, style type stuff, you know, to the beginning of my videos. You guys were really supportive and I want to say thank you. Not only that, if you're new to the channel, it would mean a lot if you can subscribe, of course. Um, today I'm going to be super busy. We have four reactions we're covering, so I'm going to be up to like 8 in the morning. So, I mean, we, we got a grind to get over. We got... Batwoman, we got Supergirl, we got Rick and Morty, and then we got Snowpiercer, a new show coming to TNT, so this will be fun, but again, I'm excited about this. I reacted to the, like, the first half of Batwoman, but then I slowed down, I think episode 13 was, like, one of the last ones I checked out, um, and because I had so many other shows to check out on Sundays, but again, I, I, I really enjoyed this show, I mean, I feel like this show did a great job smacking the people that were hating on it before it even dropped, so I mean, a lot of people had a lot of it, a lot of doubts, you know, they weren't feeling it, you know, the trailer, I guess, looked cheesy to a lot of people, even to me, I, I was, I was so-so, but you know, I'm always going in shows with like a, with a with a good look. You know, I like I like to be um, happy. You know, I don't want to go in there with like uh, a, a bad mood or you know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying, but still, um, I, I came into the show and I really I really enjoyed it. And I'm I'm happy with what they did. I think the season was a, a really good introduction. You know, I I liked it more than some of the other Arrowverse shows for this season at least. Uh, Supergirl, I mean. We'll talk about that during Supergirl, but yeah, I had to stop watching that. I stopped reacting to that, so I mean, we'll go over that then. But still, I am really happy to see how this plan, how this turned out. Some of the villains we had Hush come through, and we knew he was coming by when we saw um, I, was it Tom, Tommy Elliot in the beginning of the season, and I was excited about that. I think I reacted to that episode, but then we had um, full on Hush in the last couple of episodes, so that was fun. We had I think her name was Brooke. They brought her back, and she was actually a fun character to see back in the picture. So I've really been happy with what they've been doing the past couple of um, episodes. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it's too bad. I don't know if the season was cut short. I'm not, I'm not, I know it was for the other shows, but Batwoman, I don't know if it was different or not because I really don't read much information uh, for like behind the scenes stuff like I do with like The Flash and all that. So um, either way, I'm excited. The trailer looked badass, so I'm excited to jump right into this. Um, so again, we have a big night, so subscribe, help me out. Let's get busy. Well, that's a big sword. Shoot. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, well, that's a tough way to die. Well, I mean, you clearly deserve it. Oh yeah, Kate. <laughs> I love it. Show off in front of your dad. Let's do it. Well, I told you to stay in the car. What the hell was that? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh man. This is a fun way to start off an episode. Titan Teslo, since apparently oh, yeah? the Bruce commander couldn't take down this hulking Gotham Goliath's tight end, can turn us over with the click of a screen. This is really annoying, like hella paranoid, which Gotham I understand. Alice. You're not a good guy, but still. Oh yeah. <laughs> Call this? This a face? Really? <laughs> this? <laughs> oh no. Uh, Give me a face I can wear. <laughs> so that's good. He's a joke. Shoot her dead. That'll get you your face, you stupid idiot. It's quite up. Oh, I'm not saying goodbye. I love my face, bro. Look at this. I just want to see them have a big brawl because they, they've been in each other's faces for a while. For a friend. For a friend, guess, right? Tights, cape, <laughs> big ass on his chest. You, how do you know that? Lucky guess. You gotta tell Luke. So why fish it up? Sounds like something Let's the Patriots need. I don't know what any of those words mean because I'm a lesbian. Sexy uh, <laughs> cheerleaders. Come on. <laughs> she's my dad too. I know she's constantly saying crap like that. Not what I meant. It's like a straight Just... put down. You're arrested, or when you said no parties in the penthouse and you had one anyway, and we'll never see a vigilante as one of the good guys. Jacob Kane has never been a vigilante, he was also his daughter. Seriously, Alice does not look bad when she dresses up in normal clothes. So, it's funny seeing her try to blend in with the normal people. <laughs> and plays with rocks all day. This must be very exciting, but it doesn't have to be. <laughs> no. Or Kyanite? <laughs> Dude. Or, um... Charolite? I'm head of the geology department and dumb ass. Well, a rock. Professor Darby. That's funny. Your name. Lucius, bro. Lucius Fox. I love it. Yeah, Lucius is dead. Oh. And with that. 
She. Challenger department needs a new head. The ref emerged on the field. He wanted to win so much that he's willing to have his soul beaten out of him. Jeez, every dude. Practice, every Man game. really killed a ref, <laughs> dude. You know you. Oh shoot. You this is the uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> See, I like when she fights the dudes that are huge, bro. It's just mad fun. <gasps> bro just killed his brother. Oh, dude. You abandoned me to a prison. I thought my brothers could be asses sometimes. Jeez. <laughs> The people of this city, the oh, yeah? and the GCPD will bring her to justice, and we will not discriminate between the bat and those who ate her, abet her, or so much as turn on a damn bat light. That was Crow's Commander Jeez. Kane with some. She should say this one out. He might not have a choice. I'll need an x ray to make sure, but I'm guessing you have a couple of cracked ribs. Oh, God's gonna stop her. They've been making it sound like it was the steroids that made him go nuts. Like, there's no way. Like, there has to be something else. It's over, Alice. I'm leaving. <laughs> Dude. Uh. And where do you imagine going? Oh shoot. <laughs> she just sees him as a little mouse. You even survive? Uh. The same way I survived in Arkham for five years without you visiting me once. Not on my birthday or a holiday. <sighs> No cap, watch this be like a Laura Lance situation. When they want to quit something, they end up going on their own way and then they end up, you know, getting murked. I just don't see this ending well for him. Dorsal posterior insula is basically shriveled to nothing. Because I don't know what that really means. Bad. That's the part yeah. of the brain that governs pain. But I don't think you're going to like it. Bro, they're like... I'm nervous for her. Mary, what are you doing? Don't that woman. Oh, Mary! I'm fine. I... Oh, dude. It's okay. <laughs> he said he's gonna treat anybody. What's going on? The way he How would treat that woman. So that's not. Please. Girl in front of a firing squad. Could have blown her damn head off. Ooh. This dude has been a great part of the cast, bro. Like, I am really loving his character. Like. I knew. <laughs> I'm the only people penny for it. I'm your daughter, and if I don't believe in what you're doing, then how can you expect a city of strangers to? Bro. <laughs> Except the person you believe in doesn't even have the guts to show her face. I don't like this. We saw in the promo that it doesn't work out well. That's why I don't like watching the promos. <laughs> like. It'd be cool if they're being legit, but I I don't they don't they're not gonna move on. The huh? Dude, I'm Bro, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Alright, yeah. Did you kill him? Aw, dude. Wow. <laughs> my brother, my everything. What is good with you, Alice? <sighs> it's all hands on deck at the arena with Batwoman. What do you mean with? They Batwoman? brought the Team whole. The they brought the whole army. Two hours ago, he said he'd arrest anyone affiliated with her. Dude, now he's packing her into the ring. What just happened? Someone cut the power. Oh, yeah, this is getting exciting. <laughs> I love when her eyes go like that. I don't know. I, dude, for a second, but you see the legs slowly flicker off, bro. That's badass. That's badass, too. Uh. <laughs> so the crows aren't doing anything? Apollo told me who you are. Come on. I didn't want to be this. Aw, oh, yeah. I always feel for the villains when they like change the Bro. Oh you're <laughs> promised you war. This is what it looks like. Bro, 
We're on the same team. This is badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, she really trusted him, bro. You're an idiot. Imagine he actually killed her and then she he takes off her mask, bro. Like, <laughs> dude. <sighs> oh, bro. <laughs> they really lit her ass up. What about her? You now marry? Tell me what I'm missing. With all due For being respect, a commander, sir, I'm kind of sad he's a little slow on this. If I'm terrified of being in a relationship with a woman. I think your relationship is weird either way. Like, you both got a common ex-girlfriend. Like, it's kind of weird. I don't know why. I just, I don't, I don't see that. And they're both still homies with the ex, too. That, 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 I don't... <laughs> oh, dude. Ah! <laughs> Oh, dude, this is his betrayal. Her yeah, she she trusts. Us, she just more than any of she's too reckless. That's one thing, but like this is sad. My dad hates me. Ah, oh, Batwoman. No. He hates Batwoman. But you're he not you're not a Batman crazy girl. I else. mean, he's wrong. You made Joseph as a bat. But don't do that. I'll stick with booze, thanks. <laughs> well, no, that's not. That's kryptonite. Powdered? I figured destroy it? destroy it. Oh my god. Okay. You used a hammer. Okay, like Imagine putting that in um Kara's drink or something. Well, that'd be a terrible way to die. Ah, <sighs> dude. Where did you get that? The same way Bruce did. I would keep it. She trusts me. Oh, I love I love that relationship. Like talk to her. Playboy of the. <laughs> 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 We got a little. We got a. That's finally what he looks like. What? So. Is this our casting choice? Is that what we're doing, bro? <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, guys. So that was a hell of an episode, a hell of a finale. And if it wasn't planned on being a finale, it was just a hell of an episode. So still, I am really enjoying the series and. <sighs> It is good. So, Supergirl. We had Supergirl, and um, when Season 2 premiered, we found out that we were going to be getting Superman. And I remember seeing that trailer. I was in high school, so it was just really exciting seeing that, knowing that we were going to get Superman coming to life on um, uh, one of the Arrowverse shows. So it was just absolutely phenomenal. So if that is the case, if we do happen to be getting Batman on um, uh, Supergirl, I mean on Batwoman, it would just be fantastic to get um, uh, a little version of Batman. Because we've gotten references um, for the past, like... Bro, it's literally, it's been like eight years. I mean, I think we've gotten even references in the first season of Arrow. It's been a while. So, I mean, they've teased it left and right. Even old man Kevin Conroy, we even had some of that. And, and now actually seeing a version of um, Bruce Wayne, if they do change the actor, it would kind of suck. But still, um, it, it'd just be cool to see it, you know? And if we already got a little word on how the crossover for next year was going to be. And apparently it's supposed to be a Superman and um, Batwoman crossover, but I mean, we don't really get too much of that in the comics. I mean, there, there I think there are some storylines, but when you think of Superman and you're thinking of like a, a crossover between the, like another character, usually you think of Batman. I mean, Batman versus Superman. I mean, no matter what you think of that movie, it was it's still a, a dynamic duo. So it's still something that you would love to see anywhere. You know, as long as it's pulled off a decent in a decent way, it's still super exciting. So um, maybe they'll introduce Batman, and, and I don't I don't know, man. I, it'd just be so cool because I mean, down the line, you you. If we are getting Batwoman, we kind of would hope that we would get Batman. But, I mean, the whole situation is kind of tricky. I'm pretty sure with, like, contracts and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure, like, like it's just a, a whole crazy ordeal that we don't really want to get in, into. But still, it's just super cool. I'm finally getting, like, a play, like, Playboy Bruce Wayne. Like, that's a badass. And um, especially now that Hush is him. It kind of worried me a little bit. I thought she was going to put Mouse's face on I don't know why, but still kind of freaked me out a little bit. But um, I'm really happy to see how this is going to kind of play out. That whole scene, I'm on the football field with Batwoman and the Crows was phenomenal. Of course, I would have loved to see her lay them out a little bit. So they know that she's not known to be kind of like screwed around with. Very emotional seeing Kate cry. So um, I don't like motivational speech. I'm not a huge fan of that. That's why I, maybe why I'm not huge when it comes to Supergirl. I love Lex Luthor because um, he's not the type of guy to like share his emotions so when if he does or if he does end up being real it, it means more you know but like with supergirl and those characters they do it every episode so it's like it's not like the the motivational speeches are less meaningful so um when it came to the 
to Batwoman and when we see those like sad hardcore moments it, it hits a little hard like hits a little more especially because she's like a, a tough girl she a tough woman she tries to be um like you know like her cousin she wants the city to look at, at her in a certain way and when she let when people if she lets people down like especially like her father when her father she thinks her father hates her like the whole situation kind of turns uh very negative so it's just it's just it just makes it a lot more negative i mean a lot more emotional seeing this so it'd be really cool to um see how the next episode turns out like like specifically with how she handles all of this with her father you know I don't know, it's all crazy but again i got three more shows to record so i'm super excited we got supergirl next and we got snowpiercer then rick and morty so we're burning through these so again thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if i did love, leave out anything make sure you let me know and i will try to post it back um tomorrow i don't know if i'll be posting too much um, because, you know, I'm going to be sleeping in due to me staying up editing all these. It would mean a lot if you can help me out by subscribing. We're also going to be getting um, Legends and Stargirl. Actually, I'm... Yeah, yeah, Legends and Stargirl. I might actually get Stargirl. I think it might actually come out tomorrow on DC Universe. So if that's the case, I will be I will be checking that out. But, um, again, I, re I really appreciate all of you, all your support. You guys were just super cool talking to me about my vlogs and all that different kind of stuff. So um, we will be continu continuing Avatar The Lost Airbender now that these I have more time and more shows um, slots available available as well as jojo so this is um really fun and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new subscribe support the channel follow my socials do what you can and peace